What's up guys, so I get so many people asking me about my camera setup and I have answered the comment like a thousand times, so I'm just going to make this video and hope it knocks a few of your questions out. Um, so yeah, I'm sorry that I'm sitting here in my kitchen, but I'm at home today with the little guy and I'm not in my office, so you have to deal with it. Um, but you know, what's more manly than sitting in a kitchen with like an elephant water pitcher or whatever this thing's supposed to be. Alright, first thing is first, this is my camera bag. It is black and I carry my camera stuff in it. It's pretty awesome. Let's open it up. Alright, first off the bat, here's my camera. This is a Canon T3i. Uh, I've had this thing for about two years now and it has never done me wrong. If you want to look at it, uh, this has a stand, the standard zoom lens that comes with it. It is a 18 to 55 millimeter. Um, it's pretty good, but if you want a real lens, which I haven't upgraded, you're going to want to get a better glass uh, fixed focal point or a, you know, a nice glass zoom lens. But uh, this is what I've been rocking and at the end of the video, I'll show you some of the footage that I've shot with both of my lenses, and you'll just say, like, you know what, that's not that bad. So it does the job. Um, it has an LCD screen, um, but that makes it very convenient. You know, uh, when you're filming, you know it's right there. I also, I usually have a cam caddy, which is a handle for it, but uh, I don't actually know where it is right now. A lot of times I find myself just filming holding it because uh, I feel like I can I have more freedom in twisting the camera and whatnot and uh, it just gives me more play when I'm filming so uh, but a lot of times I, I use the handle but if you are looking to get a DSLR kit I strongly suggest picking up a handle uh, a cam caddy whatever you want to do because uh, it just makes it really easy to film and uh, it's something that even if you like to film uh, just freehand uh, there's always a place for a handle so pick it up this is kitty litter, which I don't typically film with. Next, I will uh, show you my batteries. Um, batteries aren't as big as camcorder batteries, so I have four batteries. Um, one's in the camera, two are here, and then I have a cheaper one, which is like my backup, like when I really need batteries, I use this. Um, these are like the legit Canon batteries. I have three of these, and they last way longer than these, uh, just because they're, they're quality. Then I have three SD cards right now. I'd like to pick up some more. I have two 8 gigs and one 16 gigs. And when you're buying uh, these for HD video, make sure they're fast. These are uh, Scan SanDisk Extreme Pros at 45 uh, megabytes a second. So um, those are like four HD video. Next, I have a light which uh, fastens to the top of your cam caddy. Or if you want to do freehand, it's like just sits right on the camera here. And this thing gets bright. I mean, like if you're filming skateboarding like I do, this just lights up a spot. And then also my second lens. This is a Rokinon fisheye. Uh, it does does the job. I actually had uh, one before this and I scratched it unfortunately, but um, I got another one and they're not that expensive. They're only $300. When I uh, filmed with camcorders, I used to have to pay $600 for a fisheye lens. If I scratched that, I would have cried. So uh, they're not that bad. And my extra outside pocket is where I put all my random stuff. Um, I have a steak knife in case I find a steak at a skate spot. I have skate tools. Um, you know, for obviously if I need to put a board together or whatnot, I have an air horn to annoy random revengers, and then I always try to have some revenge stickers, um, and then I have some Sam Tabor stickers right here, which I've been meaning to put on my skateboard. I need to do that, but uh, yeah, so if you ever see me at a skate spot or skate park, say, hey Andy, you have stickers in your camera bag, and uh, hopefully I will. Sometimes we are just selling so much product that we run out of stickers and we're waiting for the next batch to come in, but uh, we're trying to stay on top of that, I promise. Oh, and for all you people that think I run around with a random knife in my camera bag, I was joking. Sadly, I have to point that out, because some people would think that I actually carry a knife with me everywhere. If I did, would it be a chef mate? No, it would not. And for everyone wondering uh, what I edit on, I've always used Adobe Premiere Pro. I'm using 5.5 right now, and I love Adobe Editing Suites. They're awesome. So if you're looking to try a new editing program, definitely try it out. It's a little bit expensive, but um, it's worth the purchase because you get a lot of use out of it. So just to reiterate, guys, here's my setup. This is a Canon T3i. Um, it is about 650 bucks. You get a standard zoom lens with it, and then if you want a fish Fisheye. Fisheye is about $300 more. This is a Rokinon uh, Fisheye, and this is a great deal. For $1,000, $1,100, you get this, or you can just buy the camera for $650, but uh, I used to have to pay $3,000 and then another $600 for the lens, uh, just for a camera and lens. So the, the price alone is worth it, but the quality that this thing gives you is insane. Like I said, I'll include some footage after the outro of some shots I filmed with all this stuff and uh, you can take a look at it. There you guys go. Um, I hope that answers some of your questions. I'm going to go. I have fooled you all because despite this button up and tie, I've been totally wearing my lounge shorts. So, uh, ah, fooled. I'll talk to you in the future, guys. And invest in a better air horn if you guys get one. That was stupid.